We're here at the headquarters of America's largest golf course accessory manufacturer to see just how they set the gold standard in golf on this episode of VGM Club Chronicles. You'd be hard pressed to find a golf course anywhere in the country that hasn't used something from standard golf. For over 100 years now, they have invented, redefined, and manufactured products that thousands of superintendents have come to rely upon. And for over 20 years, VGM Club has been proud to distribute standard golf products to our thousands of members. But how is all this golf stuff made? We took a road trip through the cornfields of Iowa to find out. And as you're about to see, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. We started by talking with Matt Pauli, Standard Golf's Director of Marketing. Matt, appreciate you having us in. We're standing here surrounded by the hundreds of, of products that Standard Golf has. Kind of feels like I'm at the, the golf industry show already. That's right, that's right. Uh, tell, tell our viewers a little bit more about Standard Golf, the company, and sure. your mission for the, the club industry. The club industry, sure. Well, Standard Golf is a family-owned company, third-generation ownership. Started in the early 1900s, uh, farm implements, things that the upper Midwest would need at that okay. time, uh, and progressed all the way to golf course equipment. That is our sole product, it's for the golf course. Uh, the golf course superintendent is our main buyer of the product. And so our goal is to help the golf industry grow, grow with it, but also help the superintendent so that their jobs can be easier, more efficient, uh, and they can get done what they need to uh, with better tools and with the best tools. Matt, we have hundreds of uh, participating VGM club members uh, contact us to, to get your great product. Tell the, the viewers out there, what are your top products and, and which ones are time and time again courses relying on standard golf? Sure, sure. Our cups are the big sellers, whether it's our aluminum cups or the plastic cups. Uh, we have the cups with the, uh, the, the interlocking ferrule system or just plain. So those are something that superintendents are getting all the time. Uh, the flag sticks that go into those corresponding uh, cups, T markers, signage. Uh, of course, flags, be it regular red, white, blue flags, checkered flags, um, or some form of customization flags we can do. Um, signage is big, but uh, not only do we have these standard uh, items that you'll see anywhere in a golf course, but we also do some really fun stuff with, uh, with a new tool we have, or we've had for a while. Uh, so if you want to see how innovative we can get, uh, we got a little room down the corner we can show you. Let's go. Now, who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? I mean, Standard Golf has been around for 107 years, and yet we're standing in front of a 3D printer. First, yeah. first time I've ever seen one of these yeah. in person. Matt, tell us about what you guys are doing with this. Sure, well, a 3D printer is a great tool in our arsenal to let us become as innovative as possible. So, um, we, as we design and think of new products, be it in-house or whether it's a superintendent that comes to us with an idea, um, we can do a lot of things here before we make a mold, before we spend the big bucks to, you know, you make a mold, that's it, you're done, right? Um, 3D um, imagery and CAD drawing can get you the nice view of what it's going to look like, but okay. it's still one dimension on a sheet of paper. So enter the 3D printer. So these ideas are making standard golf faster, more flexible than ever before. That's right, so if we're um, looking at a bunker rate, for example, so here's the head of um, our Tour Pro bunker rate. Well, what was gonna work? You know, how many teeth, what size, where will it be smooth, where are the ridges? We could make a uh, prototype here, try, take it out to the field, put our real life, you know, handle in it, go to a sand trap, try it here, give it to the superintendent, hey, try this for two weeks, what, how do you like? working hand in hand right with that superintendent uh, community. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We, we welcome them to come with ideas and thoughts, uh, as well as us going with new prototype items. Hey, try this out for us. Do you think, yes, no, what do you, how do you tweak it? So it's been a great relationship. Now, one of the top categories that VGM clubs all over the country uh, order from Standard Golf are, are flags, and there's, there's many reasons why. Um, one of them is just the, such a wide array of, of product that you have. Matt, can you kind of walk us through uh, the flag category and all the exciting things you have going sure, on. Sure, sure. Well, we have tons of flags. We have every flag you might want to make. So we often joke about Forrest Gump. We've got plain flags, checkered flags, grommeted flags, <laughs> two blot flags. So you, you can go on and on and on about it. But one of the best things that our flags can do is we can get into personalization and customization. Okay. So if you're a club that wants to brand your logo throughout, we can do that 
from a dye sublimation, a screen print, and embroidery. If you're running an event and you're looking for whole sponsors, other ways to generate revenue, you can do that. Uh, so there's just a, a plethora of different opportunities to get your branding out or get your image out on your course. So show me some of the dye subs. Sure. The, the versatility, uh, the, the potential for the revenue source like, like you're alluding into. Kind of walk us through, it looks like you have a couple examples yeah. here of, of just that. So here's two good dye sublimated flags. So we have here uh, a dye sub flag, just branding standard golf, showing that you can go corner to corner with the image. And this one, of course, is grommeted. Um, this is a perfect flag if you wanted to display it you know, on your wall, make it into a trophy, make it into you know, a keepsake. Sure. But also allows you to put whatever message you want. You've got the entire flag to do so. If it's the uh, tournament that's coming up and they want to have the name of the country club and then the tournament has its own name or logo, they could do that. Or perhaps there's a tournament sponsor, which we can get into with this okay. other form of flag here. This is also full coverage dye sublimation, but it's our event flag. So the tube is sewn into the flag itself. Okay. And it's perfect for those that are having a, uh, a sponsorship for, this one's here for a local uh, high school football team, but then they've decided to add champion to the bottom. Uh, that could be replaced by VGM Club or any other sponsor. Okay. Um, and so, you know, you could say I have a whole sponsor for $50, $100 a whole sponsor. The flags would be less than that to manufacturers for now. The club organization has got some revenue opportunity. And That's then the, the, the sponsor gets the flag to take home um, as a little trophy or a little uh, thank you for hosting the event. Great memory of what's happening and the club makes some additional revenue. That's Absolutely. Fantastic. Matt, these are really fantastic show the versatility and creativity that a club can have absolutely i see these over here yeah. why don't you walk me through uh the embroidered nature of these special events sure flags. so we got the opportunity this year to do um uh, another major golf event um, that we love participating in when we get the opportunity. Uh, so this is the Solheim Cup coming here to Des Moines, Iowa uh, next week. Um, so they wanted their logo embroidered uh, with the, the country club, the date, and then we numbered all the flags one through 18. But uh, a little tip for the soups out there, sometimes the number of flags become a little souvenir. So if you get a lot of sure. hole-in-ones on a particular hole, you might be ordering a lot of number fours sure. <laughs> down sure. the road. But uh, it's a great added touch. It really dresses up the course, really personalizes the course and that hole for you. Um, and it's just, these embroidered flags are just really special with how they look. Um, you know, our team here does a wonderful job getting them done. So that's just, I think they're the marquee flag that we offer. So these are flying this week. Down, down at the Soul. Yeah, if you head down uh, down I-35 a little bit here, you might see this uh, little major event going on. Um, and not only our flags, but we'll have a lot of other of our products out on that course as well. So it's neat to check out. Awesome. So. Great idea. So a few days later, we headed out to visit with Des Moines Golf and Country Club's Rick Tagmeyer, who recently hosted this year's Solheim Cup. So Rick, tell us a little bit about your yourself and how you came up in the business. Okay, I'm uh, I'm originally from Iowa, uh, born and raised uh, in Northern Iowa, Rockford, Iowa. Uh, this is my 45th year in the golf business. I've spent my entire career in the state of Iowa and uh, honored to be here at Des Moines Golf. Tell our audience a little bit about your relationship with Standard Golf throughout the years. I have, uh, as I said, for 45 years, Standard Golf products have always been a staple for in my business, whether it's cups, flags, uh, cup cutters, everything. Throughout the years, we've, we've always tried to showcase their products. It makes sense to use their products and not go anywhere else. They're, they're number one, I think, in our, in our business, and, good, and they're great to use. Now, you, you had a little event here recently uh, that a few people around the country probably saw in the Solheim Cup. Um, tell us a little bit about what it took to get ready for that process uh, and that event when it came to the, the equipment side of it. Uh, for us, it was, it was a lot of planning. We wanted to make sure uh, that we had Showcase Iowa products and Standard helped us do that. Uh, Julie Inkster, the, the Solheim Cup captain, wanted certain flags for each day. Uh, Chris Garrett, the tournament director, worked directly with Standard and myself and we came up with the flags that were used, the, the flag sticks, the cups, uh, the hazard stakes, everything was, was specified by, by the LPGA and, and uh, Standard was able to produce all those products for us. What do they do for you as a superintendent in supporting uh, not only your facility here, but the, uh, the role as superintendent as a whole in the industry? You know, they're, they're always there for us, whether uh, you need, uh, like for the Solheim Cup, for example, they, they, they help support my volunteer staff. 
by providing a meal for us. Uh, they were here on site during the tournament. Uh, we had we had a little issue with a couple ferals. They came out. They they brought a machine down. They were here on site. They fixed those. Uh, you go to any event, whether it's our our turfgrass conference or uh, just a state event, and Standard Golf is front and center. They're always there for us. So, gold standard service, gold standard product. Standard Golf's the gold standard. Huh? They're they're the leader by by far. There you have it. Whether it's a major event or a minor accessory need, your course can count on the gold standard. Standard Golf, that is. If you would like more information on the Standard Golf products that are available to VGM Club members at deep discounts, give our agronomy team a call today at this number. That's it for this episode. Join us next time as we dish up more insightful information on the next VGM Club Chronicles.